What's going on guys, Chu here, bringing you another review on My Hero Academia. This episode was a pretty dang awesome, I will say, because we finally get to see a few other characters other than Deku and uh, Medio and the whole situation with you know, Night Eye and All Might kind of put to the side right now. Because now we get to focus on someone that, honestly, I personally liked but doesn't shine as much. Obviously, it's not Tokoyami. Tokoyami's my man. Like that, that he's one of my favorite. Uh, of course, Bakugo as well. But they're both not in this episode very much. So, eh. But Kirishima, I was very pleased to see his his growth. Like how he actually has been able to really kind of step up since then. And we get to see more of his personality. How he feels about things that are going and. You know when it comes to like the classroom and how he feels among, among the group and i really enjoy that but we do also get to see what uraviti and froppy are up to uh they really are you know kind of standing out you know helping out and you know giving themselves a good name you know and that's awesome you know i think that was really cool that they actually get to sh uh, shine excuse me and we get to see nejide one of the big three i believe that's how you say your name and uh, you know it was it was a good a good way to have them you know show, uh, showcase their abilities uh we also get to see the shy watered down version of sasuke this kid is like pretty cool like a quirk that i honestly would think you know is uh, very strange and unique in its own way like i would never have thought that that was his ability like this guy has a lot of potential and you know i wanted to see more about him we also get to meet the new hero well two new heroes the one that was with uh the dragon hero that was with uh urika Ur Ur urika whatever god i can never pronounce her name and then we have mr fat or fat guy whatever his name was um and they're both very interesting heroes um very unique in their own ways they're i wish we could have seen dragon hero do something uh but i'm guessing that later on we will get to see some of her abilities but where fat guy we see that he's more of an absorbing guy so he's kind of like a human version of Majin Buu to me so uh, I did enjoy it you know I did enjoy seeing these two new heroes and the way they're introduced they seem kind of chill down to earth not like Night Eye who's been giving a lot of hell to his people but we get to see that they come into contact with these people who are like robbers and whatnot and luckily they are able to stop them relatively easy and unfortunately kirishima didn't get a chance to shine here he was actually kind of put to the wayside because the other two took him out but we also get to see this dude in the crowd who actually shoots at the shy sasuke that's what i'm calling him and we see that he can't actually use his quirk anymore and while this explanation is going on we get to see the meeting between uh, overhaul and uh, Chimora, uh tagora tamora God, I can't remember his name very well, but we see the meeting between these two and how they want things to go, like their uh, relationship and what they want to have related to going on forward. We see that they actually have a, you know, kind of you know, rough edges here when it comes to like what they want. It's like he wants the name of League of Villains, but he wants to know what's going on. But from what I understand between these two is that we see that overhaul wants to eradicate quirks depending on who it is i think um not like the way all for one did but i guess in a more subtle cleaner way because this man's like a evil version of levi when it comes to like cleanliness but uh it's interesting because we also get to see that uh, one of the dudes that was with the group that was taken down he was a weakling and a psycho honestly and kirishima goes all out with this dude and i was pretty impressed on how kirishima handled this situation how he was able to like kind of bounce back from feeling kind of down where we see him talking to you know, kind of a flashback with bago and the other guys and he was able to take down this guy who was hyped up on this drug that increases their uh, their quirk so things are going in an inter interesting direction. He, Red Riot, as he is known, actually begins to get a good reputation. The girls did too. And they start to get, you know, some good reps. So I was really glad to see, you know, 
them having a good, you know, display of their skills. But guys, uh, that is it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.